with the arena filling to capacity. A trip to the MASCAC championship game on the line. We welcome you inside Hanaway Rink. The third seeded Fitchburg State Falcons and the second seeded Plymouth State Panthers. Hi everybody, I'm Cameron LaValle, joined by my partner as always, Jordan Woodle. Now up the other way, here comes Johansson at the right circle. A wrist shot paddled away by Caesar. And we have another penalty coming. Rojas goes hard into the boards and a Panther as well. I can't see the number right now. But they're both down, both grabbing their heads. 11-17 to go in this period. You can see the referee's arm up, so there is a call coming. It's just a matter of who it's going to be on and what exactly happened here. Yeah, I missed it, but it looked like they, they kind of rode the momentum into the corner and both of them didn't put the brakes on, so they both kind of eased each other into the boards pretty hard. It's like Josh Woody Looks like for the Panthers. The athletic trainers for both teams out there on the ice as Rojas gets help to his feet. And he'll slowly make his way to the bench. Josh Woody still trying to get up in his own right. Eric Gibbs overlooking at him. No one I trust more to, to look at the Panthers and be their trainers. The Eric Gibbs, unbelievable at his job. And you know that if Josh Woody says he's fine and Eric Gibbs clears him for the concussion protocol, you know Josh Woody's going to be back in this game, hands down. So the call was on Josh Woody as he hunched over, glides his way to the Panther bench. He's going to come off for now, so the Panthers are going to have to find somebody to serve his penalty for him. And Selly at the far side, wrist shot in front, another attempt. And that one goes wide to Kramer. Pucks to loose in front. Fretz. And another save by Gordon Caesar. Now cross ice for Connolly. Tries to put it on goal. Got blocked away by Panthers. Centering in front for Selly. Final one second. And that will do it for this opening period of play. Vermillion cuts him off. Tries to work it up to Economos. But put it on his blind side. Now Snyder. Cross ice. Connolly. And they score. Ryan Connolly with 14.53 to play in the second period. And the Fitchburg State Falcons have a 1-0 lead. That was played with a hand pass. And John Sally gets the stick knocked out of his hand by Colt Smelster, who's now going to serve two minutes. Slashing the call. Up the left wing side, Fretz deeks around Wig. Carries into the left circle, trying to work past Vermillion. Uses the backboard to get it to Connolly. Having a tough time battling against Perrin. Puck squirts out, poked away by Wig. And he's up the left wing side. He springs free. He has Perrin in the slot. Perrin back to Wig. He scores! Andrew Wig short handed with 7.14 to go in the second. And we are tied. Dan Dupel got tripped up at the blue line there. And Took a tumble, and it looks like the Panthers are going to go on the man advantage. Six, six guys on the ice there for the Falcons, so somebody's going to serve it. Too many men on the ice penalty here, and it's going to be Timmy Genova. McGilvery over the red line, flips it into the right corner for Lansleeve. Works it for Woody. Back up top for Dowell has to race end to end from the blue line. He scores! Tommy Dowell, a wish off from the blue line. Jakobsen never saw it, and the Panthers have the lead. That was a great play. Trying to work past that broken stick is Steenberg. Moves it up top to Smelser at the blue line, trying to get a good shooting angle. Gets it through, tipped around, and Vermillion keeps it in using that reach. Puck in front, Dupel scores! Dan Dupel with 2.50 to go in the second. 3-1 Panthers. Yeah, unbelievable play, cycling, good patience. Falcons trying to get it out of their own end. Final two seconds and one, a wrist shot. That's going to be blocked wide off the body of Smelster. Callahan takes it for the Panthers. Up the sideboards to Zach Fox with a ton of speed. Fox at the far circle. Holds to Callahan. Deeks. He scores! Ryan Callahan. A nifty move to get around Jakobsen. 4-1 Panthers. Dupel making his way back in, but we have a penalty coming. And it's going to be against the Panthers here. And it's Mikey Conmos for a high stick. Connolly down low for Kramer. Gets Caesar down and he scores! Ricky Kramer, what a shot! With 11.28 to go, a power play goal, and the lead is two. Two minutes 
for Alex Jocelyn. The Panthers back on the power play. Now over to Wig. Again in the slot. Score! There it is. Josh Woody gets it back. 5-2 Panthers. Now McGilvery up the left side. The Panthers have the odd man rush. Lance Leaf in front. They score. Ian McGilvery. 6-2 Panthers. Caesar will come out to play it in the final five seconds. Dowell flips it into the neutral zone, and that will do it. The Plymouth State Panthers are back in the MASCAC Championship. 6-2 your final. Panthers salute their crowd for possibly the last time this season here at Hanaway Rink. But we know one thing's for certain, it is not their last game here in this season. They are on to the MASCAC title game to be played this upcoming Saturday. For everyone here for PSU Broadcasting, my partner Jordan Woodle, I'm Cameron LaValle. Thank you for joining us all season long. We appreciated your company. Have a great night.